In this video, we will discuss working in the Page Builder to design how your data will be displayed in your app. In the Page Builder, you have the option to add pages and layouts. Layouts are templates that contain pages with the ability to set a unique look across all pages that are assigned to this layout. Layouts can be useful, for example, if you want the same menu to appear on every page. Instead of adding the menu to every page, you would add it to the layout and assign those pages to the layout. Pages are where you will add components, which are ways to display and interact with your data. Every page is made up entirely by rows, columns, and components. Pages contain rows, rows contain columns, and columns contain components. This structure enables you to completely customize any page to match your exact style. You can customize any row, column, or component by hovering over it and clicking the edit icons to see additional customization options. There are two categories of components, data components and system components. Data components will be used to display and interact with your data. You can display your data in a table layout, or you can display it in a list view. You can also create charts and cards to graphically view your data. Additionally, you can use forms to add or update your data. These are just a few of the data components. System components are used for working with users, menus, and static content, like an image or a logo. Each component has unique settings and options, so be sure to check out our videos on specific components for an in-depth look. On the left side, you can see the list of pages and layouts currently in your app. The layouts are in bold, and beneath it are all the pages contained within that layout. Any page nested further are dynamically created for you when adding certain links inside a component. For example, if you add a link to view more details about a record, a new child page will automatically be created. The star represents the page that is currently the default or home page for your app. When you'd like to preview your app, you can click the preview button, which will always open to this main page. If no page is set as the default from the settings, you'll receive an error page. To preview a specific page, click on either the preview icon or the button on the bottom of the page. Finally, there are additional filter options available by clicking the filter icon. This will enable you to filter pages based on specific roles or layouts.